Tech Talk Alert. After our latest digital life hack, you're going to hear one of my weekend show's best calls. You don't want to miss it. It's almost the new year, and I bet you're thinking about clearing out some space, maybe in that packed garage or a room that you can't walk into anymore. If you're eyeing an old computer gathering dust, here's a tip you shouldn't skip. Now back to that ancient computer. Before you toss it, make sure to wipe it clean of all your personal info. If not, you leave room for hackers and no-gooders to glean through all your old stuff. Just imagine all the important docs, info, work, and more that you have on that old PC. Here's a quick how-to. For Apple computers, back up what you need, then restart in recovery mode, Command plus R, and use Disk Utility to erase the hard drive. For PCs, back up essential files, restart, hit F8 for advanced boot options, and choose Repair Your Computer and reset it back to factory defaults. Now, if you need those steps again, just hit my website, commando.com. There's only one day left to enter to win a brand new iPhone at commando.com slash win. As promised, I'm now bringing you a standout call from my weekend show. Joan in Indianapolis, Indiana. Hi there, Joan. Hi, Kim. How are you today? I'm great. What's going on? Well, I first of all want to thank you for taking my call and to thank you for sharing your wisdom. You're sweet. Thank you. <laughs> great. Greatly appreciate it. So here's my question. I'm a landlord and I'm looking for a, an easy way to check backgrounds, criminal backgrounds, and financial status of my applicants. And I wondered if you had something that you would recommend. Well, how are you doing this now? Uh, right now, I take, I have them fill out an application and I take it to the local sheriff's department and they give me that information, um, but it's just for our local county. Mm-hmm. So I didn't know, you know, if there's, so if they move out of the county, who knows what's going on. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing is that I um, can accept a Zillow application, but because I do advertise on Zillow, mm-hmm. um, but in order to read the results, I have to provide them my social security number, my information. And I didn't know if that was safe or not. I'm yeah, what you think about that? You know, it's it's always that question. Well, let's let's talk about some ways that you can just do a background check, and then we'll talk about the whole Zillow. Um, okay. So what we what you what you can do is that the big credit companies like Experian they have something called Connect, and this way you can purchase and view credit reports, and obviously you're going to need them their permission to do this, and in the application. Right, of course. Uh, TransUnion has a similar thing called Smart Move. Uh, okay. And Zillow, as you know, with the rental manager, is that they have a, a tenant screening tool as well. And the whole reason to get your social security number is to make sure that there's not going to be a bot or maybe it's going to be tied to something with some IRS reporting. So there's exactly there's mm-hmm. there's there's reason to do that. You know, and it's always cautious. You're like, oh, my social security number. I better not give this out. You know, if it's a legitimate company and you know you're on a legitimate site and you see that lock in the uh, in the browser URL and you just mm-hmm. didn't click a link out of nowhere that just popped in your mailbox, then I know it feels icky, but it's probably going to be okay. Uh, okay. It's, you know, because I experienced this myself. I wanted to renew my global entry card. And of course, you know, they ask for everything when you're doing that. Mm-hmm. It's like, right. Yeah. Yes. yes. Here's a piece of my, my, my hair, my, here's some DNA, my mother's maiden name, you know, and it's like, and we all sit there and cringe. But if you, if you feel confident that you are in the right place, then, then I think it would probably be, be okay. So, um, so, so those are the places where you would get the, the background check. Now, criminal history, that's probably something else. Like you said, uh, you take it down to the sheriff's office, but you can do a, a, a nationwide background check on several websites. There's employment verifications. Uh, but I think, you know, taking a look at this Experian Connect and the TransUnion Smart Move, as well as, you know, don't forget about your gut. You know, a lot of people of forget course. about that. You know, it's like, does it feel right? Does everything check, you know, all the boxes? Mm-hmm. And, and now is this person from the military they're moving in? But, you know, and then, and then we, then all of a sudden it just starts feeling pretty scammy because that's all, 
shtick that they're all trying to use right now, pretending to be from the military and they have to move and they need three months free or whatever, you know, the whole thing is. Have you experienced any of those type of scams? No, no, I haven't. That's good. No, I've been pretty lucky, um, but I just want to make sure that I'm not putting myself out there. Yeah, and that's always a concern. It is because we always are always want to hold that com- that that social security number close to our vest. And in reality, we probably as a nation need to come up with some other type of ID other than a social security number because let's just face it. They're all just for sale right now, mine too, yours too, Joan, right there on the dark web. And they're really not selling for very much, and that's why it's super important that we always keep track of our credit, we freeze our credit, and uh, we go ahead and put alerts on our bank accounts if there's unauthorized access, or if somebody tries to make a charge on a credit card over fifty dollars and the credit card isn't in uh, on the premise, and you start paying attention to all these different alerts. And I know it's a major hassle; it is. It's just a pain in the butt because I get them too. Uh, but we do need to just make sure that our whole identity does stay safe. Uh, Joan, thank you so much for your call today. Hey, a huge thank you for streaming with me. Now, if you're puzzled about something techie, I'm your gal. Just find the email Kim link over at commando.com and let those questions fly away. Now, every email gets my eyeballs, I promise. And keep your digital life in the know. Be sure you sign up for my free newsletter over at getkim.com.